people, this is Radhika, and this is my glass painting tutorial. For this project, you will need some glass jars. Um, ideally, they're, they're re uh, reused ones or recycled, whatever. Um, you can just take any old jam jars or sauce jars and um, rinse them out and peel the labels. Make sure there's none of that yucky glue on it. You will also need some paint, specifically uh, for glass. Mm, I'm using Vitrea by Piveo. I don't know how to pronounce that. They're French. Uh, I don't speak French. But as you can see, these are the markers that I'm using. And I'm also going to use um, their paint from a jar. You will need some paintbrushes. And you will also need water to clean your brushes in. And of course, the paint. As you can see, that's the jar uh, paint, and I'm also using markers. So, once you've got everything set up, and you've chosen your colors, you can get started and experiment and play with this. It's lots of fun. So, when you're using the markers, you need to shake them to get the paint flowing. And you also need to press down so that the... Um, the liquid, the ink, goes to the tip, and I'm, uh, I was experimenting with these. I think I used them one time before, but when I was doing this, I wanted it to be as um, natural and organic. <laughs> it sounds like I'm describing food, but what I mean was um, I wanted to improvise and just see how it turned out and have fun with it. So. I didn't plan any of the designs, I just sort of had a general idea of what I wanted and I chose the designs based on the colors that I had. Um, so this video has been sped up and um, you can see that I've already done like this sort of um, flame design on this small jar and while I'm waiting for what, uh, the paint to dry on this jar. I also um, take advantage of that time while it's drying to do uh, designs on this, this other jar. So in order to save time and to keep the workflow um, flowing, keep it fluid, um, it's best if you have um, alternating projects like you know two different jars or whatever um, if you're painting on jars. Remember that you can also paint on other things as long as it's glass and you can also um, put it in the oven. It doesn't have like any parts that might burn or melt. Um, I had some trouble with one of the with one of the markers, so I ended up giving up on it and just starting to paint over whatever I had done with this with this um, liquid paint that's in the jar. I don't know what's the specific word for that. I mean, just regular paint, not a marker. Um, and it was not so pink, but more purple, and I actually liked the way that it came out. So, it all worked for the best. Um, and then I ended up using that defective pink marker for just small details and designs, and that way I wouldn't get too frustrated. See? Look at all the times I had to press that down. The color just wasn't coming out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sometimes that happens. Um, and I wasn't gonna like give it back to the store because otherwise, ugh, no, just no, it wasn't worth it. And, and we're, we're like in quarantine and there's a pandemic and I'm just not gonna bother. Nah, I'll just shake it up a bit more and deal with it. So yeah, when you're making your um, designs, you can experiment or if you prefer to plan your designs out first and then, um, you know, put them on the, the thing you're working on, and that's fine too. Um, I like to just have fun and play and see where it takes me. Um, so yeah, this one's got like a paisley design, and it's um, got some leaves on the side, like a, like a flowery paisley motif. Um, and I just went with it. Go with yours. Do what you want. Free your mind.
once you're happy with the designs and you think that you've finished and uh, you're ready um, for it to be done, then you gotta let them dry for 24 hours and, before you can put it in the oven and um, seal the paint in. So here, as you can see, I finished and I'm putting them just in an ordinary oven, you know, where you can bake cakes or do whatever it is that you do, make a good lasagna. Please make sure your oven is clean. <laughs> do not put things in a dirty oven because I guess that's gonna affect it. And um, leave them in there for 40 minutes at 160 degrees Celsius. If you don't, I don't know what that's in Fahrenheit, just Google it. As you can see, I washed them and the paint didn't come off. That means that they were properly baked and everything worked. And yippee, now I have pretty glass jars. And uh, the benefit of this is not only that they look nice, but also um, when you're using these as cups, everybody knows exactly which one is theirs. Nobody gets confused. Nobody takes the cup of somebody else. Nobody's like, oh my god, which cup is mine? No, you know which one's yours because each one is unique. Or if you want to make them all the same, that's fine. That's up to you. Enjoy. So to wrap up this video, I want to give a very, very heartfelt thanks to my patrons. With a special shout out to Yaya Castaneda. Goodbye everyone and have a nice day.